Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Bell Abroad. And I don't know if you can tell that I'm, I'm definitely not at home. This weekend, I am hosting another wellness retreat in nature for Brown Girl Bloom, a, a loving and healing space that I founded for black, indigenous, and women of color. This weekend, we have four soul sisters coming and connecting and slowing down and resting. We're gonna have plant-based food for the entire weekend. I wanna show you around this beautiful um, uh, eco-made home. So I chose um, a sustainable home just because I think it carries a lot of good energy in it. As you can see behind me, that is actually rammed earth. So that is made from the earth itself. Um, and there are lots of benefits. Just look up, look up rammed earth. Essentially, it helps to keep the home warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Um, so yeah, it just is friendly on the earth. So I'm gonna show you around and I am once again living in my purpose and there's so much gratitude in my heart for being able to do things like this. Um, I think that when we direct our energy into love, things unfold and manifest in magical ways. And this is just one example of it. All right, so let's have a look at this rammed earth home. Okay, so I chose a rammed earth house for, we're in, I think we're just past the season of Jaren, but it would technically be winter right now in Western Australia. So I thought rammed earth would be much, um, I think it would be in a bit more in alignment with the weather um, because it is cooler. So I have some notebooks here. I'm gonna light some candles. I did some energy clearing. Um, I have some of my favorite books. This is Trust Life by Louise Hay. So we do have a fireplace, which I'm going to work on once one of my soul sisters uh, gets here. There won't be any TV. That's the one thing that's not allowed as well as social media. We got music playing, got more incense. But I really want to take you guys upstairs. All right, so this is the second story. More incense going. And lots of lovely um, space. And the view, you guys, is the absolute like highlight. We are on a bush block and we're surrounded by trees. Now, I don't know if anyone knows about the benefits of being around trees, but they give off a lot of different healing properties, helps you to feel calmer. Um, a friend told me, I'm just gonna show you the other side, that um, in Nunga culture, when a baby is upset, the mother usually brings the child under a specific tree. I can't remember the name of the tree, but I thought that was really beautiful. And there, we're actually gonna be walking around that every day. So yeah, this is, this is a space. So when you walk outside of um, our beautiful home for the next few days, this is a view. Um, There's lots of space to read, to reflect, to slow down, and just simply be. The one thing that made me realize that this was a space for this retreat was that um, it's called um, the Kookaburra. Uh, which is my spirit animal, at least the spirit animal that my husband and I share um, because they started singing on the day that he proposed to me. And ever since then, I've been seeing them all the time. So that's, that's really beautiful. I can see there, there's a spot to sit at, which we'll probably use. Hopefully the weather is kind to us. I've been calling on the weather gods to give us some nice cool weather 
And you can see here, this is a better view of the space. Yeah. That's it, that's the rammed earth house. Really beautiful.